What up guys, coming at you guys with another video. Very excited. Today's a Tuesday. Basically it's um 12 something. But for in less than four days we're gonna have a unified champion at 135, whether it being Teofimo Lopez or Vasily Lomachenko. Now all belts will be on the line. And Mauricio Solomon pretty much said that Lomachenko is pretty much the highest ranked um, champion as far as the WBC. And in my opinion, he really is. Because uh, you guys already know the franchise champion. There's only two of them, Lomachenko and Lopez, who are pretty much Mauricio Solomon said. People that move up and down in weight class, uh, multiple division weight classes. And... In my opinion, I know a lot of people are saying that this isn't a unification, but in my opinion, it really is. Now, I messed with uh, Devin Haney heavy. However, uh, who did he beat? Uh, was it Campbell for the Lomachenko for the vacant belt that uh, Mikey Garcia had vacated? And then Teofimo Lopez got the other vacant. Oh, no, no. He... Um, he uh, what's his name? Uh, Kome got the vacate belt, vacate belt, and uh, Lopez beat the champion. But uh, pretty much Lomachenko won that belt, and at that time it was only the the WBC lightweight belt. He then got elevated to franchise champ, and if I'm not mistaken, Devin Haney was an interim champ, and he got elevated to the regular champ. So, you know what I'm saying? So, technically, uh, Teofimo, I mean, uh, Lomachenko, technically, he's still, like, the h highest uh, rank. Now, Devin Haney, he wants that smoke. I know that he wants to be uh, recognized, which is kind of weird because in other um, scenarios, let's just say 140, Jose Ramirez is the champ, right? Let's say uh, 130, Miguel Burchard is the champ, right? And they don't have a franchise belt, so it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's, the WBC kind of messed up with that, in my opinion. But it's like, those guys are the real champs. And then we have Devin Haney, who technically... He is the real champ, but then they still have a higher higher belt. Kind of like the WBA, the WBA uh, Super and the regular kind of situation for him and Charlo. It's kind of weird, but... Nonetheless, uh, Suleiman did say that if Lopez is victorious, he will get the WBC franchise uh, belt as well. So pretty much he will be unified and pretty much we don't know what Lopez or Lomachenko are going to do after the fight there is no rematch clause we don't know if uh Lomachenko uh who he'll face or uh if he wins or if Lopez wins if he's even going to stay at 135 or is he going to automatically move up to 140 we're going to have to wait and see but that's all I got for now go ahead and comment on this video like the video subscribe and I'll keep you guys updated and posted